Here's one tool that every photographer and designer should be using in Photoshop. It's called Blendif, and you can find it in your layer styles by double clicking on any layer. If I move the shadow point of the This Layer Blendif slider, all the shadows from this layer, which is the gradient, get removed. But if I move the shadow point of the underlying Blendif slider, everything on my gradient layer starts to get removed if it appears over the shadows of the image beneath it. Now, in either of these cases, the transition between visible and not is a hard line. But to make that transition smoother, hold Alt or Option and just click outside of the blend if point to add some feather. This adds a soft transition between where your layer is visible between the two exposure ranges. So with this in mind, let me give you two examples of how this can help your projects. For photographers, let's say you're color grading a photo and you want a very specific color feel in that image. With a color fill layer, you can just choose the exact color you want change the blending mode to overlay or soft light, and then use the underlying blend if option to blend that color into the shadows and highlights of your image. As for design work, this makes blending text or images into texture so much easier too. For example, adding a type layer into an image, I can apply blend if to that text to hide it from the shadows of the underlying image layer, and therefore reveal the texture beneath it. Now it looks like it's blended into the scene with hardly any effort. 